To access your students' star reading and star math reports, go to Clever.com. If you're not logged in, it will ask you if you're in Bakersfield City School District. Click Log In with Google. Find the Renaissance Learning tab. Yours is going to look different than mine because I've customized mine a little bit. But if I scroll down right here, Renaissance Learning, click there. It's going to take me to my dashboard. I'm going to go to the reports section of the dashboard, which is over here on the right. I'm going to click on this. It's going to open a menu that's going to give me star assessment. Click on that. There are a variety of different reports that you can get with this. Right here, Star Student Progress Monitoring Report is a very good one, as well as Instructional Planning Student Report. That's another one. All of these will slice and dice your star reading data and star math data based on what's available. So um, I'll go really quickly through these just so you can see. So if I do an instructional planning, it's a good place to start. It's going to take me to this screen. Currently it's set up for math and star enterprise math. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to go to reading. And I'm going to choose Star Reading Enterprise. I want to make sure that's selected because the other are other tests and this enterprise is the one that we want. It's going to get my specific class that's rostered to me. If I wanted to break down by demographics, I could, but I don't need to do that. And I'm going to sort my students by last name. So I'm going to click Update Report. And here I have based on the latest star reading data for my student. So I'm going to show you right here. So the scaled score, this is his most recent test. This is his projected end of the year. Um, it gives me his ZPD. It gives me his instructional reading level. It gives me his percentile rank. Um, and then it gives me some suggested skills um, that he needs to uh, focus on um, use strategies to confirm correct understanding is something that one of his areas that he needs to work on. And then it uses some language skills. He needs some literature skills. So this will scroll and will give me for every single one of my students, one of these reports. If I want to export this report, all I have to do is come up here into the top right hand corner and click on PDF. Now, as it's generating this PDF, it's going to make a multi-page document. I can select specific pages of that PDF and print them to share with parents. So let me show you, for example, let me click View PDF. So I've got 64 pages. And right now, it looks like every two pages, based on just a cursory glance here, Oh, some of them are more than two pages, so I would need to go through and make sure. So this first student right here is two pages. I know that for sure. So I can take this, click on this little print icon here, change my destination to either save to Google Drive, save to PDF, or print to your printer. So I'm going to just save to PDF for right now because I don't know where I want to put it. And I'm not going to do all pages. I'm going to do custom and choose pages one, two, two. Now I can preview over here on the left and see, okay, that's what that one student's report is. And I can save. And it's going to ask me what I want to name it. And I'll label it student's name, star reading, and save. I don't have to break them out individually. I can keep them all as one if I would like to. Just make sure if you do that, 
uh, you click this little download button and make sure you save it. Um, it doesn't always automatically download because Chrome is helpful. It doesn't think you always want to save every PDF you click on. So going back to reports, if you wanted to access math, you would do the same thing. Click on math, click on Star Enterprise math, come down, update report, and we have math now. So uh, it gives you items that you can work on uh, that that student, that Renaissance recommends that student work on. The other type of report, if we click back to reports here, that's very useful, um, it comes after they've taken a few star reports. It's my favorite one to share with parents. Um, it's this one right here, star annual progress report. You click on that. Okay. Uh, if you're setting this up for the first time, you might have to change your assignment type. So I'm going to click that. And there's lots that you can choose from, but we are going to go with star reading assessment English. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to make sure that star enterprise assessment is chosen and click apply. There's different groupings you can do, but default is all of your students for the current school year. It hasn't flipped over yet. Um, and then it has the star enterprise scale, which is fine. You don't need to change any of that. You can choose whether or not to show grade level equivalent. And if you have any students without data, you can hide that. So click update report. And just like the previous, previous report, we'll have a whole page of test results. But this gives a nice visual snapshot of what's going on. So this black line right here is a trend line. So it shows based on his four star test, star reading test performance, he is trending upward based on his experience right there. Um, it even color coordinates. Yellow is intervention. So his first test, he scored intervention. And his second one, he scored at or above. And then he fell down into the on watch area. So one thing that if I was sharing this with a parent, I would let them know that this is not a traditional graph where um, it stays the same. This is one where they're expected to make growth. So um, if they had a test that was blue right here, but they had one that was green over here, it's because the years going on, they're expected to grow. And if they're not making progress with that, it'll bump it down into a blue. These are percentile ranks, these dotted lines here. So that's the uh, bottom 25th percentile down there, between the 50th and 25th in here, between the 75th and 50th here, and obviously above is in the top 25 percentile. Down here, it shows how many tests, which dates, what his scaled score was, what his grade level equivalent, what his all of these great things right here and his instructional reading level. So um, you can also catch students who are maybe didn't try very hard on their test by getting this information and seeing how many they got wrong or see if they have a, an outlier of a test that they um, didn't do very well on. So this is also very useful. This is EPD report right here. If you wanted to save this as a PDF, PDF, you'd scroll to the top, click on PDF. It would generate a PDF, and you would click Download and Save. So those are two valuable star progress report, or star reading and star math reports that you can access. This is also very useful to uh, print out and give to parents uh, at parent conferences, or if in the case of virtual, you could um, print out just one PDF at a time instead of giving all of them and uh, print it to a PDF instead of um, giving them the whole entire access to all the students because you wouldn't want to do that. Um, pull out that one like we did before, print, save as PDF. We just want page one. Click save, give it a title, that student's name, and you'll make sure that you have one for each student that you can share with parents through Class Dojo or Parent Square. So that was a quick tutorial on accessing reports in STAR and Renaissance Voice.